A U.S. court dismissed Meghan Markle's half-sister Samantha's defamation lawsuit. A defamation lawsuit filed by the Duchess of Sussex's half-sister against her was rejected by a U.S. judge. Due to remarks Meghan Markle made to Oprah Winfrey and in her Netflix series Harry and Meghan, Samantha Markle filed a lawsuit against her. But she won't be able to resubmit the case since Florida judge Charlene Edwards Honeywell rejected it without finding a sufficient reason. The judge of ruling in favor of the former suit's actress said in a 58-page decision that the plaintiff had failed to identify any statements that could support a claim for defamation or defamation by implication. Megan's lawyer Michael J. Kump said, We are pleased with the court's ruling dismissing the case. Samantha Markle, who has the same father as Megan, claimed the couple's comments during the high-profile tell-all interview with Winfrey in 2021 were demonstrably false and malicious lies. The Duchess said to Oprah she grew up as an only child, and also said her sister changed her surname back to Markle after she began a relationship with Harry. The judge said Meghan's statements could not be defamatory because they were either an opinion, substantially true based on judicially noticed evidence, or not capable of being considered defamatory. She went on that plaintiff used one last name and then the name Markle soon after reports of the Hid defendant's relationship with Prince Harry were published is substantially true, based on the exhibits in the record, of which the court has taken judicial notice, and the court cannot reasonably infer otherwise. In March 2022, Samantha Markle filed a defamation lawsuit against her younger sister, claiming the Duchess had disparaged her by disclosing their connection with Winfrey on live television and providing material for an unauthorized book titled Finding Freedom. The judge determined that the Duchess could not be held accountable for the contents of the book because she did not publish it, which is why the lawsuit was also dismissed last year.